is nanotechnology the future of modern medicine? The field of nanotechnology encompasses the development of technological devices at the nanoscale. These devices could theoretically function at the molecular and subatomic level by manipulating individual particles to produce measured solutions in a variety of domains. Precision medicine aims to cultivate personalized medical interventions by employing genetics in conjunction with big data analytics. With this nanotechnology, the accuracy and efficacy of disease diagnostics and screening procedures to targeted drug delivery can be improved, as well as in-depth monitoring of a patient's physiological health status. Atomic force microscopy, nanoscale simulation, and chemical modeling have produced wide-ranging implications for the fields of pharmacology, gene editing and sequencing, physiological imaging, and preemptive treatments for incurable diseases. Moral considerations. As the world becomes increasingly data-driven, we should consider whether there should be legal and ethical constraints on what kind of data is acquired. The main leaders of surveillance capitalism, Google and Facebook, have commodified virtually every aspect of human behavior for the purpose of targeted marketing, ad revenue, and the sale of data sets to third parties, effectively establishing a behavior futures market. These markets now dominate the data landscape and force consumers to relinquish their rights to privacy and transparency for services that make their lives more convenient. If we figured out a way to use nanoscale robotics to produce functional three-dimensional images of the human body or pinpoint neurochemical and architectural deficiencies in individuals with mental health disorders, would humanity be okay with reducing ourselves to a series of data points? Nanocomputing. In 2017, researchers designed a DNA nanocomputer that identified specific antibodies, which were then used to regulate drug delivery and dosage directly into the bloodstream. Antibodies typically trigger your immune response system by binding themselves to antigens, unwanted substances that enter your body. They provide a signal to your immune system to which cells need to be targeted and eliminated. Atomic force microscopy. Atomic force microscopy, also known as AFM, allows research scientists to investigate the composition and behavior of cells and molecules at the nanoscale. In other words, it is possible to monitor the physiochemical properties of cells in real time as they react to changes or manipulation in their physical environments, and is particularly useful throughout the field of cancer treatment and research. Unlike electron microscopy, which requires that a sample be extensively treated prior to analysis, AFM works with minimal sample treatment, avoiding the possibility of extensive sample damage. Moreover, the functionalized probe of the AFM further enhances researchers' ability by allowing them to pinpoint specific cells and their interactive relationships with other cells or proteins. AFM can also measure the dynamics of cell mechanics in relation to the physiochemical properties and intermolecular forces within a certain cellular environment. Throughout modern medicine and biology, cell mechanics is largely considered one of the significant indicators of a cell's current state. Seeing the mechanics of cancer cells are especially complex and treatment is often time sensitive. The ability to identify metastatic growth is paramount. Nanoscale simulation. Nanoscale simulation provides modern medicine with a number of exciting new opportunities. Conventional brain imaging techniques such as fMRI and EEG cannot record brain activity at the individual neuron level and often require advanced filtering techniques and dimensionality reduction prior to data processing. Neuronal data obtained at the nanoscale would allow neuroscientists to disseminate the electrochemical properties of their individual neurons with their synaptic webs. They could also track progression and dynamics of neurotransmitters. This data could allow researchers to develop a three-dimensional, high-resolution map of the brain's neural architecture. This map, when coupled with the data obtained from functional imaging techniques in real time, could allow researchers to build a generalist computational model of the human brain.